Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows multiple fetal anomalies, including the fetal soft tissue edema, bilateral hydrocele, meconium stained amniotic fluid, and polyhydramnias. You can see the fetal hair and fetal soft tissue edema is seen on the skull, on the fetal head. Fetal anasarca refers to generalized fetal body edema and usually develops as a component of hydrops fetalis. The fetal subcutaneous tissue appears diffusely thickened often to a more than 5 mm. But in this case, the fetal soft tissue edema is only seen on the fetal head and neck. Now this fetal soft tissue edema develops from a fluid shift from the intravascular compartments into the interstitial extravascular compartments as a result of impaired lymphatic drainage, capillary permeability and or capillary hydrostatic pressures. Now you can see the fetal hydrocele. A fetal hydrocele can be diagnosed by ultrasound examination before birth. Evaluation of the urinary system is now part of the routine ultrasound examination done by many obstetricians as a part of their routine perinatal care. A fetal hydrocele may be seen as an anechoic crescentric and echoic regions around the fetal testes. A hydrocele is produced by fluid in the sac which normally surrounds the testicles. It often presents as painless swelling in the sacrotum. Hydrocele is often found in newborn boys, especially premature infants. And now you can see the polyhydromnias and the fluid is meconium stained amniotic fluid. You can see the largest gutter measures about more than 12.2 cm and at this level. Now the it has been suggested that meconium stained amniotic fluid can be detected in the antepartum period by means of ultrasound based on the following findings. A diffuse ecogenic pattern throughout the amniotic cavity. A clear contrast between amniotic fluid and the umbilical cord and layering of, of the layering in the more dependent areas. Now again you can see the fluid is thick and turbid having multiple internal echoes. The amniotic fluid is generally, generally appears eco-free although occasionally ecogenic fluid particles may be seen. The fluid particles may represent a normal variant particulate matter, vernix, caseosa, intra-amniotic blood or intrauterine meconium passage. Polyadromnias occurs in about 1-2% to 2 of pregnancies. Most cases of polyadromnias are mild and they result from a gradual buildup of amniotic fluid during the second half of the pregnancy. Now the several polyadromnias cases may be caused by shortness. It, the severe polyadromnias may cause shortness of breath preterm labor and other signs and symptoms. As a rule of thumb, polyadamnas is usually diagnosed with an AFI over 24 or a big pocket of fluid on the ultrasound of over 8 cm, polyadromnias is estimated to occur in about 1 to 2 percent of the pregnancies. Now this is the fetal head, 
and this is placentas you can find some important information about these findings in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks